This just in, winds of 110. The southern tip of the Baja affecting Cabo San Lucas. It was, uh, it was sketchy at a few times. We were on day to day for what four or five days telling everybody next meetings in 12 hours we'll let you know and i don't know that we've gotten through it yet to be honest with you those cobbles braces for more than just the bisbees this october i shot this all during the rain <laughs> it's nothing new for a peninsula that survived so much worse Of course, everybody prepares for a storm in their own way. Hurricane party! Or not at all. For Bob Busby, this could be the beginning of an exciting career. Moonlighting as a personal chef. His specialty? Hurricane quesadillas. <laughs> Lucky for him, Baja Canteen is back up and running, and the Bisbee staff can get back to what they do best. I think that I should warn you, there's something about to change. We're standing at the border, where history is made. We're cranking up the lights now, so everyone can see. It's all happening right now We're gonna make you believe It's about to get crazy It's about to go down me. You're gonna hear us from a long ways away It's gonna be loud Oof. This is our house We do what we wanna We'll blow the roof off Everybody's coming It's about to get crazy It's about to go down Running with the big dogs. Three million. So as a former winner, what's your advice to the newcomers and rookies? Enjoy the tournament. It's just, uh, it's like rolling the dice. 2021, we sign up, join, first year, just win it. It was great, super great. Viva Mexico! Yeah! Did you win that first year? 1.1. Is any left? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing left. It's a I've got some fun numbers for you. The black and blue number, over $9 million. As far as the Los Cabos Offshore Tournament, prize money is over $2 million. Bring us a fish now, gang. The moment is finally here. Welcome to the madness. Hello, I'm Todd Harris. Well, Mother Nature took her best shot, but despite that, more than 200 teams will rip into the Pacific looking for their shot at millions. And because of the hurricane delay, we'll run both the Los Cabos offshore and the black and blue at the same time. A true double header. Get ready for another wild ride with the Bisbees. So if you pull in the big one and you're coming into dock, what's the battle cry going to be? Ah, yeah! Ah! That was impressive. How do you use this change things now having a double header basically for a Bisbee's black and blue? Now let me tell you what, just between us, I think that was a brilliant damn idea. It's gonna be badass. The only thing that scares me is they've only got two days to do it. 
I mean, that's what scares me. If anybody, they want three days of fishing. Trust me, I want five days of fishing. I mean, so that's scary right now. So it's day number one. There will be no waiting, no anticipating, because the scales open in about two minutes, and there's a fish on its way. This is my time. I've waited long enough. I'm taking my moment. Don't matter how it works. No regrets. No matter how hard it gets. Team Stella Jim. I'm going for great. And uh, we're so fortunate to be here. Thank you everybody for making this happen, and uh, we're really lucky. Oh God, Evan, talk, man. Oh, Help me out. This is my captain. Thanks to my captain. I'm just on the line. It's about 11 and change out there right now. We're just a group of friends that love to catch fish, specifically black marlin. Day one. It is what it is. We're happy with the fish, and uh, we're going to see what happens. So they're a couple million dollars into taking money from us so far. There's no reason I see that they shouldn't take more. Oh. Fish gods. Right. Ready. Give me that kingdom, give me my crown. This is my time, I'm waiting long enough. I'm taking my moment, don't matter how it works. No regrets. We got 368! 368 pounds! Unbelievable! The first fish, first day. Don't walk away. Thank God. You never know till you go. You just gotta just keep fishing. Just persistence and that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. It's just such a crazy feeling. You can't even talk. I mean, just like, this is what we do. It's Stella June. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're stoked. We're so stoked. What's what's this moment like for you guys? Oh, I'm just so happy for my guys, man. You know, like this is this is what they work for every single day. So it's it's a big accomplishment for everybody, but especially these guys. So on day number one, one fish has been brought to the scale so far, but there's still 30 minutes left until it lines out on this first day of fishing at the Bisbee's Black and Blue. Now all eyes will be turned to this thoroughfare. This is where the action will be. There'll be plenty of Dorado and tuna brought in, but will someone bring in one more marlin? It turns out the Los Cabos offshore is where it's at. There are multiple qualifying fish. The winners are quite impressive. In the tuna division, North Star, with a very familiar face, takes home the top spot. If this fish holds up to be the biggest tuna of the day, the same, the same angler last year in the same tournament caught the biggest tuna on this day, okay? They've been on our stage taking more money for tuna than any other team in our tournament history. One, two, three. 93.8! Yeah. Unreal, 93.8! Same angler as last year on this same stage with the largest tuna then. Excuse me. This is one of our few Japanese teams. For the Dorado category, Team Go Deep Go Cabo cashes in with a 37.5 pound beauty. Just six ounces heavier than second place, Cortez Anglers. All in all, 11 fish brought to the scale on day one. Day two could only hope to be as good. Big day, day two, the Bisbee tournament. Let's get after him and catch one of them big blues. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No one pulls up like we do. No one does us like we do. Always go hard with this school. Welcome to the show, let's be blues. It's going to stop us, it's time to get rough. Turn the whole room up, it's never been rough. Let's go, 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 let's go.
43 years, a Bisbee has been at the helm of the black and blue, and the future looks no different. With the upcoming generation of both Jordan and Blake Bisbee, we took the opportunity to sit down with Blake at the Baja Cantina. Look at here, Blake Bisbee in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Good. Hey, take us through the process of how you guys got ready despite another hurricane. Well, <laughs> we held the line and, and hoped for the best, you know. Um, the, the good thing is it didn't hit us at, at the speed we were expecting, but everyone came out of the woodworks after the storm and, and we're looking pretty solid for, for a two day, nine million plus two for the Los Cabos shootout for two days. It's, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? You guys have never done a double header before. Yeah, never done this before. Um, and I, I think when it, it first got brought to the table, we we're all kind of like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, but um, it, it worked. And it's doable, hell, yesterday was a perfect first day if you think about it. Big black, 368 I think it was, and then a bunch of tuna, a bunch of Dorado. It's like, you can't really ask for a better first day. Give them a big round of applause, make them smile. Tomorrow they're coming back with a big ass Marlin, right? What have you learned from your dad and your grandpa about running a successful fishing tournament? I think there's, well, I'd love to say calm in the chaos, but we, we all hear dad from a mile away when he's yelling, but, but there is some, some calmness to that chaos. It's, it's organized chaos, but um, just push. You know what direction you're going. Keep pushing that way. We want some pictures of this. That's pretty. I don't even want to bring it up, but the retirement word. Does your dad ever see a day where he steps aside completely and just hands it over to you and Jordan? No. <laughs> no. He'll, he, he'll always be around. It, what, it, what it'll be is just the slow transition of, of teaching us more what he wants and, and us learning and, and him slowly easing things. No rush. He's, in, he's going nowhere, nowhere fast. It's, it's, I can't imagine anyone other than him at the way station. Yeah, with he, a cigar he'll and a be iconic. He, he'll be up there in a wheelchair with a cigar going, and then and we'll just mic him up more so, so he can yell. Rich is bitching. I had the microphone down because I was getting a beer. Imagine that. You usually hear him before you see him. You do. It's the easiest way to find him sometimes. It's just listen. Just oh, yeah. listen. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? Okay, you can pinpoint him. It's just like full sonar going off. <laughs> What do you see as far as changes for the Bisbees, not necessarily the black and blue, but just the whole Bisbees and the, and the tournaments that you guys put on? It seems now we're, we're breaking into the, the new technology world where we, we had Baja Vida with the helicopter getting everything live going, all the, the new satellite Starlink things. Uh, maybe they'll be able to pick what boat, they have buddies on a certain boat. There's gonna be full live broadcast of that specific one they want and, and make it more of an, an intimate thing for people that can't be here. Do you think uh, Grandpa Bisbee would be pretty happy with what you guys have turned this into 43 years later? I think he'd be stoked, you know. I, I, I don't know if he'd believe it, but I, I guarantee he's up laughing right now, like, holy crap, who would have thought? It's insane how this tournament shook out this year. Is $20 million jackpot Feasible? I think so. I think so. 2009, I said some some crazy number, and and we when we hit over 10 million last year. It was holy cow! Hey, we're on our way. So, so 20 million. You heard it here first. 20 million. It's happening. Congratulations on the upcoming wedding. Hey, thank Wish you. Wish you the best. Gifts in the mail. All right. <laughs> I got you a Bisbee shirt. Hey, perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Day two, and we're just moments away from the scales opening up right at two o'clock. And wouldn't you know it, Rocky Mountain Hookers got a big one. Let's go! Holy crime, Andy. Hooked up with a, a pretty big barrel this morning. And man, the flow on the boat, as soon as we had the fish on, was just unbelievable. Just to get a fish on the boat and, and in honor of the fish itself, we're just we're just pumped. You know, we're, we're excited to be a part of this. and. It's, uh, it's very exciting. Oh, right on. That's a damn fish. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Nate, bueno. Stand by for what Jack has to say. Let's buy the one! Our new tournament leader! And these boys are in a lot of the jackpots. 
They took seven digits right now from yesterday's fish. <laughs> Trevor Evans was the angler, 501 pound blue marlin. Trevor, is 501 your new favorite number? I think it's just a little bit better than 500. That's what I'm, so yes, it is. <laughs> Any idea that it was gonna be that big when you got it on board? Uh, Grant was Grant was doing some measurements. We were thinking maybe it hit the five number, but we, we were hoping, so. Ben, this has got to make a long day out in the hot sun well worth it. Oh, it does, without any question. I've been fishing down here for you know several years, and obviously never caught a fish like this. We just we were blessed today. I mean, it just turned out perfect. But you know what? He picked this spot. You know, uh, yeah. Oh. Thanks, to him. Hey, I, so yeah. everything is a team effort. Yeah, we already that's know right. That. You, you know, know what? Well, that this. was a team teamwork. What, what is what does the Bisbees mean though to fishermen like you, the community, just to be a part of this uh, this event? That's it. Being a part of it. Being a part of what's happening in Cabo. My wife and I love it here, and uh, this really gives us a chance to get even more tied to it. So, are the best fishermen come from Texas or Colorado? Oh, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Day one starts out with a 360. Day two starts out with a 501. You ever thought about extending this to three days? <laughs> God, don't even go there, dear Lord. This is a strange question. What is your go-to catchphrase? If someone was going to imitate you, what would be the go-to Wayne Bisbee catchphrase? Are you it? Yeah. Bring me a goddamn fish. Ladies and gentlemen, bring me a goddamn fish. Bring me a damn fish. God damn it. <laughs> we need a fish. Get your money in. Go, go, go. What the hell's going on with you guys? Where's the fish? A goddamn marlin. The richest sherman in the world. Thank you. <laughs> I'd have to smoke that cigar that he smokes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wayne Bisbee here at the 2023 richest fishing tournament in the world. Hurricane or not, we're doing it. Let's go. The final day of the Los Cabos tournament was deja vu all over again. We hooked at about 12.30 and it was about a little over a three hour fight. He kept going under the boat and almost pulling the fishermen over a couple of times. We weren't sure that the leader was going to hold it. Yesterday, he caught the biggest tuna. And if this holds up, this will be the Ford tournament period, you know, days in a row that that guy has yeah, reeled yeah. in the biggest fish. Now that has to be something, right? And this is a local team, by the way, from San Jose del Cabo. <laughs> Jeez. That's okay. I gotta change it. It won't go on a small scale. No way. Holy crap. Let me bring it back down. The scale has two settings, bigger fish, smaller fish, goes up to however high for the smaller. We're bringing it back down. We're setting the scale for the bigger fish. Why not? This is a rare sight, you all. They call it the tuna clubs, where there's a 100-pound club, 200-pound club, and 300-pound club. And getting into the 200-pound club is you're kind of a badass, and you got a good fish. 236 pounds! 236 pounds! Woo, good man. <laughs> What surprised me is we hooked it on light tackle and fighting it for three and a half hours. It, like, he's a beast. This guy's a beast. A lot of sushi. Yeah. And the Giants keep coming in, this time a Dorado for the win. First time here at the Way Scales. I'm interested to see what happens here. 50.2 pounds! Oh, yeah! Biggest Dorado of the tournament! Yeah. Yeah. Big round of applause for these boys. Blessed to be able to be here. Blessed, uh, blessed to be able to do it. And thankful so many people came out to see us. So that wraps things up for the 43rd edition of the Bisbee's Black and Blue. What a unique year. We had a double header, two tournaments at the same time. All I can say is we'll see you next year for the 44th edition of the Bisbee's Black and Blue. I'm Todd Harris. Hey, Wayne, let's give away some money. With no further ado, I'm going to start with our first check tonight, our first team. The team Go Deep, Go Cabo. 37.5 pound Dorado. All right, our next award. C student. It's our day two heaviest Dorado and our top tournament Dorado, 50.2 pounds. How about Team North Stars? Day one tuna, 93.8 pounds. 
Day two, tuna, 236 pounds. Third place release category. This one is in the Los Cabos offshore. Team Magic Touch, Victor to my right. Come on up, boys and girls. All right, I need the Team Baco to walk up onto this stage. Get the Baco, boys. This check is for both tournaments. They got the second place release in the Los Cabos offshore and the third place release in the black and blue. Second place release team in the black and blue. The team Real Estate Canada team. How about Trisha flipping that check around for $36,337.50. We're now on our first place release team for both tournaments. Here's gonna come two checks to this team. How about four decisions wander up our way? That is great money. We're now entering the Marlin division. Second place overall. Los Cabos Offshore and the Black and Blue Stella June start wandering this way. One black Marlin. 4.404, 200 million dollars. 4.4. Did I get the Rocky Mountain hookers here for winning first place overall in the Los Cabos and the Black and Blue Tournament? 3.644 million dollars. These gentlemen on the Rocky Mountain hookers pulled us aside at the scale and they said, we want to give Casa Hogar a check. And Jason doesn't know how big this check is yet. You're going to like it, big man. Look at that boy. $100,000 to the Casa Hogar Orphanage. Eight or nine days ago, we weren't even sure we were going to be able to have a tournament, let alone two, and give away nine, ten million dollars on the stage. 